town He's a lovable clown That Yogi's claim to fame Yogi They call him Yogi Bear Yogi He ought to be a bear He's no stranger to danger But a headache to the ranger And always in the ranger's hair Yogi He's the pride of the park Yogi His life is just a lark When you dial your TV It's Yogi Bear you want to see Yogi of Jellystone Park Yogi He's so clever and so quick Yogi He won't ever miss a trick When the food is on the ground Yogi Bear is always round At the Park Rangers headquarters in Jellystone Park, a top-level conference is being held to try to solve a serious problem that has been causing headaches to the rangers for years. Uh, fellow rangers, uh, we're, we're in real trouble. I have just received a telegram from Washington. George? No. <laughs> Washington, D.C. Here, I'll read it to you. Uh, to the rangers at Jellystone Park. Yeah, that's us. Word has been received in Washington that Yogi Bear is still causing trouble at Jellystone Park. It is reported that Yogi has sneaked out of the park seven times this week, and it's only Tuesday. Stop. Since Yogi Bear is the most popular attraction at Jellystone Park, you must not let him run away. Stop. Yogi's escapades have got to stop. Stop. If Yogi continues to outsmart you park rangers, your salaries will stop. Stop. Signed, LBJ, Headman, Chief, and Boss. Well, men... We've either got to keep an eye on Yogi Bear or get fired. It's that simple. But, Captain, we can't keep Yogi in the park. He's so sneaky. It's more than one man can do. Oh, that's exactly what I've decided. It's too big a job for any one man. So I've brought in our three best rangers from Washington. They're due here any minute. Lock the car door. Somebody might steal it. Welcome to Jellystone Park, man. Uh, boys, I want you all to meet the park department's three top rangers. The three stooges? Right. And now the one with the bangs is Mo. Hi, Mo. Greetings, salutations, and howdy, fellow rangers. The one with the curly hair is... Don't tell me, Captain. Let me guess. Curly. Wrong. <laughs> That's Larry. Hiya, strangers. I mean rangers. And the one that's uh, <laughs> obese is uh, curly. What kind of crack is that? What do you mean obese? Uh, that means fat. Oh, okay. You can call me fat, but don't call me obese. Hiya, men. Uh, gentlemen, uh, you've been sent out here on a very important job. Good thinking, Captain. If you got an important job to be done, send important men. What's the important job? You've all heard of Yogi Bear, haven't you? Sure. He's one of the three bears. You know, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Hey, no, 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 no. Yogi is the bear that says, I fool rangers everywhere, because I'm smarter than the average bear. <laughs> oh, sure, Yogi Bear. Everybody knows Yogi. What are we supposed to do with Yogi? Yeah, well, your job will be to keep an eye on Yogi. You see, he's always sneaking out of Jellystone Park. Washington says, if Yogi sneaks out one more time... We're all fired, including you guys. Don't worry about a thing, Captain. We'll keep an eye on Yogi Bear. We'll do better than that. We'll keep seven eyes on Yogi. What do you mean, seven eyes? Well, two for you, two for Larry, and two for me. That's seven. Oh, what'd you do that for, Mo? Because any child knows that three times two is eight. You kindergarten dropout. Well, man, you can go to work right now. Because here comes the cause of all our problems, Yogi Bear. It's Larry Moe and Curly Joe. 
what brings the Three Stooges to Jellystone Park? We're here on business, Yogi. Business? What kind of business? Monkey business. Yeah, we're here to put a stop to your monkey business. But, fellas, uh, I don't do nothing wrong. Oh, I admit I find a lot of picnic baskets that aren't even lost. And you keep sneaking out of Jellystone Park, Yogi. And that has got to stop. Right. And we're here to keep an eye on you, Yogi. Okay, fellas, okay. I'll kick the habit. I'll join Runaway Bears Anonymous. I'll be a new bear. This we gotta see, Yogi. But we won't take any chances. From now on, we're gonna stay with you night and day. You mean you're gonna move into my cave with me? Right. We figure if you can't beat him, join him. Oh, boy. It's gonna be a long, long winter. Orders are orders, Yogi. Okay. Okay. You win. But do you mind if I go into that phone booth over there and, uh, make a phone call? Okay, Yogi. You can't get into trouble in the phone booth. And now, uh, if you'd let me have a dime until payday, uh... Boy, this job ain't gonna be easy. Thank you, my philanthropical type friend. Hello? Is this the economy costume shop? This is Yogi Bear. Would you, uh, perchance have a costume for a little old lady? How do you like that? We spent four years going to ranger school and we wind up being a babysitter for a bear. Cheer up, fellas. Remember, it's always darkest when the lights go out. <laughs> Yay! But don't forget, Yogi, we're here to keep an eye on you and you're not going to sneak out of Jellystone Park while the three stooges are on the job. Right. We're going to watch every sneaky move you make, Yogi. Fellas, don't you trust old Yogi? Well, yes and no. Mostly no. Uh, excuse me, pals. Somebody's at the door. Not so fast, Yogi. No tricks now. I'll see who's at the door. What do you want? Uh, it's a package for Yogi Bear. Just sign here, Mr. Bear. Wait a minute. I'm not Yogi Bear. I'll go get Yogi. It's for you, Yogi. A package. No goody. I'll be right back. No tricks now, Yogi. Boy, old Yogi's got to get up pretty early in the morning to outsmart our stooges. Huh, fellas? Huh. Yogi's been out there a long time. We better check on him. Hey, fellas, Yogi's gone. Gone? Where'd he go? That's a good question. Now all we need is a good answer. We better find Yogi and quick, or our name is Mud. Well, what are we waiting for, Mudheads? Let's go find him. Wait, here comes somebody. It's a little old lady. Wonder what she's doing out in Jellystone Park at night. <laughs> Pardon me, gentlemen, but could you tell me where I could find a park ranger? Lady, you're looking at the three best park rangers in the business. What can we do for you? Well, uh, I mean, uh... Well, I'm lost. Could one of you handsome gentlemen show me the way out of the park? I'll show you, ma'am. What'd you slap me for, Mo? She said one of us handsome gentlemen. I'll show this sweet little old lady the way out. We'll all help you find your way out, ma'am. Oh, you're so helpful. All in a day's work, lady. Just come with us. It's not far to the main gate, ma'am. Halt! Who goes there? It's okay, Ranger. It's us, the Three Stooges. We're showing a little old lady the way out of the park. Okay. Well, gentlemen... I don't know how to thank you. It's easy. Just say thank you. Quiet, fuzzy top. Ouch. Bye, fellas. Bye, ma'am. Wasn't she a nice little old lady? So polite and kind. Yeah, but she's not very neat. What do you mean she's not very neat? She looked like she hadn't shaved in a week. Shave? Hey, that was no little old lady. That was Yogi Bear. Yogi? We better go bring him back or we'll all be fired. Yeah, with real fire. <laughs> See, 
see any signs of Yogi yet, fellas? Nothing. It looks like Yogi just disappeared in thin air. Thin air? Did you ever hear of fat air? No, but I've heard of a fat head. Look down at the ground, see if you can find any footprints. Wonder what size shoe Yogi wears. He doesn't wear any shoes. Yogi goes barefooted. <laughs> I made it funny. <laughs> Ouch, Mo, watch it. Barefooted, you knucklehead. Hey, look, I found a footprint. Where? Let's see. Oh, that can't be Yogi's footprint. That's a woman's shoe. See the print of the high heels? You dopes. Yogi was wearing high heels when he sneaked out. Let's go. Mo, it looks like a storm. It not only looks like a storm, it is a storm. Let's go back to Jellystone Park. We can't. If we go back without Yogi, we're in real trouble. Yeah, remember our motto. Neither snow nor rain nor the gloom of night stays these couriers for the swift completion of their appointed rounds. And don't... Ooh. What'd you do that for, Mo? Because, skinhead, that's the postman's motto. Hours later, Yogi Bear, lost in the storm and soaking wet, is walking deeper and deeper into the woods, many miles from Jellystone Park. Yogi is so scared and mixed up, he's talking to himself. And not only that, he's answering himself. <laughs> well, Yogi, a fine time you picked to sneak out of Jellystone Park. Look, Yogi, can I help it if I didn't check with the weatherman? <laughs> At least we had a nice cozy cave to sleep in a jelly stone. Yeah, Yogi. Maybe we better go back. Sure, Yogi. I was just going to suggest that. But we can. Now, yeah, why can't we, Yogi? Because, you lovable bear, we're lost. Oh, yeah, Yogi. I noticed that. All these trees look alike to me. Hey, Yogi. Do you see what I see? I don't know. What do you see? Look, up on that hill. A light! Yeah, Yogi. Yeah, it's an old house. Come on! There's somebody home, Yogi. I wonder who lives here. I wonder too, Yogi. Hey, look. There's a sign over there. Yeah. K-E-E-P-O-U-T. Yogi, what does it say? How do I know, Yogi? You know I can't read. Look, Yogi, it's got iron bars on the window and a big barbed wire fence around it. Oh, dogs! Yogi, whoever lives there must not be very friendly. Meanwhile, inside the mysterious old house, two men are talking. Fang, the dogs are barking. Someone must be snooping around my laboratory. I'll see who it is, Doctor. No one must know of my secret laboratory. Wait, I have a better idea, Fang. Like what, Doc? Well, you know my newest invention. Uh, you mean your molecule mixing machine? Right. Theoretically, I know it will work. I have changed a cat into a mouse and a mouse into a dog. But will my machine work on human beings? Oh, I get you, Doc. You want that I should, like, bring our visitor in so that we can uh, experiment with him. Right, Doctor? Right, Fay. I will get the molecule mixing machine warmed up. Well, won't you come in, sir? I don't mind if I do. That storm's enough to give a guy penicillin. Uh, this way. Well, Doctor, I got you a volunteer to use in your experiments. It's only a bear, but uh, that's better than nothing. My name is Yogi Bear, and... And my name is Doctor No-No. No-No? Yeah, no! Are you any kin to that notorious, diabolical supercriminal, Mad Doctor No? I am Doctor No's uncle. I taught him every dirty trick he knows. <laughs> oh, well, don't think it hasn't been a pleasure meeting you, Dr. No-No, but I'm his go-go. I think I left the water running in the bathtub. Bye now! You are not going no place. Not going no place? Yeah, what kind of a double negative is that? My assistant, Fang, means that you will never leave this laboratory alive. 
You mean, I'm a prisoner? That's about the size of it. Fang, start the molecule mixing machine. Okay, doctor. The molecule mixing machine? Yes. That's the name of my most fantastic invention. You see, all matter, everything in the universe is made out of molecules. For instance, you have the same kind of molecules in your body that a chicken has, but they are arranged differently. Ah, you mean I got chicken molecules? Of course. If I rearrange the molecules in your body and arrange them like a chicken's molecules, I could turn you into a chicken. <laughs> Clever, isn't it? Well, Doc, uh, you may know a lot about molecules, uh, but you don't know much about chickens. I know and you know that no machine can turn all yogi into no chicken. We shall see. You know what, Doc? You're not fooling old Yogi Bear one bit. I got you all figured out. You have? Sure. I watch television too, you know. You're one of those mad doctors like I see on the children's horror hour. Uh, the machine is ready, doctor. Well, my skeptical friend, are you ready for the... <laughs> experiment? Experiment? Yeah, I like what experiment? I'll show you who's mad... I'm going to put you into my atomic molecule mixing machine and turn you into a chicken! <laughs> no, no, doctor, no, no. Uh, you can't turn me into a chicken. Why not? Because uh, I'm allergic to feathers. I am to the machine, Fang. If I can turn a bear into a chicken, I can rule the world! <laughs> Ah, the machine is ready, Doc. Good, good. Now set the dial to chicken and pull the switch. I hope this works. We haven't had the eggs around here for days. <laughs> Will the mad, mad doctor no-no turn Yogi Bear into a chicken? Will the three stooges find Yogi in time? Turn over to the flip side and find out. get it, men. Yogi's footprints lead us right to the bottom of this hill. And then, no more footprints. That's strange. How come we can't find any more of Yogi's footprints? Maybe Yogi's walking on his hands. Walking on his hands. Ouch! Cut out, Mo. Hey, fellas, look! Look at what, Larry? Up on top of that hill. I don't see nothing. But an old house up there. Old or new. Any old port in the storm. Let's go. What kind of place is this? How do I know? I'm a stranger here myself. Hey, look. There's a sign over there. Yeah. Keep out. No trespassing. Private property. Get lost. Scram. And look at that sign, Mo. Anyone found hanging around here at night will be found hanging around here in the morning. You think they're trying to tell us something, fellas? I'm getting out of here. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Wait, we can't go. Why not, Mo? Look over there in the bushes. I don't see nothing but a woman's dress. A woman's dress? That's the costume Yogi used to sneak out of Jellystone Park. Yogi must be around here someplace. Maybe he's inside that creepy-looking house. What are we going to do, Mo? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right up to that spooky-looking house, knock on the door, and ask him if they've seen Yogi. What do you want us to do, Mo? Talk me out of it, fellas. Talk me out of it. Hey, fellas, the front gate is locked. We'll have to climb over the fence. But what if this is one of those fences that's charged? No matter what they charge, we'll pay it. I mean charged with electricity. There's only one way to find out. One of us has to climb that fence. That's right. Go ahead, Curly Joe. Ow! Ow! 
just as I thought. It is charged with electricity. Curly, I got it. Wait a minute, Mo. Every time you got it, I get it. We'll dig under the fence. Go ahead, Larry. Oh, oh, watchdog. Now what are we going to do, Mo? We'll do what any red-blooded fighting men would do in a situation like this. Run for your lives. Uh, not so fast, my friends. Put me down. Oh, come on. Send me loose. <laughs> Well, Doctor, I have brought you three new patients. Oh, goody. I'm just dying to try out my new experiment on human beings. So you're a doctor, eh? That's right. Why? Well, Doc, for weeks I've been having this rattling noise in my head. Quiet, Rattlebrain. I'm not that kind of a doctor. What kind of doctor are you? Well, I'm an MD. You mean medical doctor? No, I mean mad doctor. <laughs> Mad? Who are you mad at, Doc? Oh, I'm not mad like, you know, angry. I'm mad like, you know... <laughs> that kind. Oh, that kind of mad. Well, it's been nice meeting you, Doctor, but we really must be running along. I think I left the water running in the bathtub. That's exactly what our other visitor said. Other visitor? Who? Oh, nobody, really. Just a silly old bear. Not silly old bear. It's Yogi. You know where Yogi is, Doc? Of course. He's right where I left him. In the chicken coop. The chicken coop? What's Yogi doing in the chicken coop, Doc? Where else would you put a chicken? Oh, boy. This mad doctor is madder than the average mad doctor. What's all this monkey business about chickens, Doc? Yeah, we demand to see our pal Yogi Bear. Very well, gentlemen. Very well. Oh. I'll bring your friend, Yogi, in. <laughs> Boy, that doc is a real kook. Well, don't worry. As soon as we find Yogi, we'll take off like a herd of birds. Well, gentlemen, here is your friend, Yogi. <laughs> yeah? Where's Yogi? You're looking at him. That is Yogi Bear? Well, it's Yogi, all right, but not Yogi Bear anymore. You see, I changed your friend Yogi into a chicken. <laughs> Doc, you've ruined Yogi. Yeah, now they'll have to call the Yogi Bear Show the Yogi Chicken Show. <laughs> Quiet, feather brain. This is no laughing matter. Yeah, especially the Yogi Bear, uh, Yogi Chicken. Yogi, say something to us. Yeah, speak to us, Yogi. <laughs> Mo, look. How about that? Yogi laid an egg. <laughs> What's going on around here, Doctor? Yeah. What's up, Doc? <laughs> well, gentlemen, I suppose I can tell you about my most diabolical invention. You won't tell anybody, Doc. I'm sure I won't. <laughs> None of you will ever get out of here alive. <laughs> Hey, what's with the crazy laugh? His lines aren't that funny. Fang! Put Yogi back in the chicken coop while I show these gentlemen how my atomic molecule mixing machine works. You think that mad doctor did turn Yogi into a chicken? Of course not. How could he turn Yogi into a chicken? It's just a trick. But he's not fooling old Mo no more. This way, gentlemen, into my laboratory. What a crazy looking machine. Yeah, it looks just like a do it yourself atom smasher. See, gentlemen, my molecule mixing machine is really quite simple. Watch. Fang, bring me a dog. One of our watchdogs. Okay, Doc. That's fine. That's fine. Nice doggy. It's really a simple matter of changing the basic structure of the molecules of one animal and rearranging the molecules until they make a different animal. Hey, I, Doc. You're so smart. Thank you, Fang. Now, gentlemen, observe. I put this ordinary dog into this chamber and close the door. Now, 
I set the dial for whatever animal I choose. Let's set the dial for... cow. Now, I press this button. And start the generator. molecules in the dog's body will be rearranged until he is no longer a dog, but... A milk cow! <laughs> Mo Curly, do you see that? Some trick, huh, fellas? That's better than taking a rabbit out of the hat. Well, gentlemen, any questions? Yeah, Doc. Could I have a glass of milk? What do you mean, can you have a glass of milk? Where's your Emily Post? Oh, well, gee, Mo, he's got his own cow. I don't believe it. Oh, you think it's a trick. I know it's a trick. Well, perhaps one of you gentlemen would like to volunteer to try the experiment yourself. Do I have a volunteer? I volunteer, Doc. You mean you are volunteering for the experiment? Sure. I volunteer Mo. I second the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 The motion is carried. Wait a minute. I didn't volunteer. But Mo, you said it's only a trick. What's the matter, Mo? You chicken? Okay, wise guys. I'll show you this whole thing is nothing but cheap ledger domain. Besides, it's probably a phony trick, too. Okay, Mo. Just step into this chamber. It won't take but a minute. Now, gentlemen, what shall we set the dial for this time? How about an elephant? No, Curly Joe. It would cost too much to feed Mo if he was an elephant. How about a monkey? No. We wouldn't want to make a monkey out of our friend Mo. That's it. That is it. I shall set the dial to monkey. Now, I press this button. And the machine starts rearranging the molecules in your friend's body. I don't think Mo has any molecules. He comes from a very poor family. You think it'll work with Mo? Nah, nothing ever works with Mo. Now, let's open this door and... <laughs> Curly, look! Mo's not Mo anymore. Mo's a gorilla! <laughs> Doc, you said you'd make a monkey out of Mo, not a gorilla. My, I guess my molecule mixing machine has still got a few bugs in it. <laughs> You're right. Look at that gorilla scratching. Gentlemen, do you realize what this means? Yeah. we got to start buying bananas for Mo. No, no. For the first time, I have changed a man into an animal. So what does that prove? Don't you understand? If I can change any man to an animal, with my machine, I can rule the world. <laughs> Quick, Curly, let's duck out of here before that mad doctor turns us into a duck or something. Wait, fellas. What about Yogi Bear? What about me? Mo, you can talk. How about that? A talking gorilla. Why not? I'm smarter than the average gorilla. Quick, Mo, we gotta do something before that mad doctor takes over the whole world. But what can we do? Well, the mad doctor might be smarter than we are, but Mo is a gorilla. So what? Gorillas aren't too smart. I know, but they're plenty strong. That's right. With my gorilla muscles, I'll tear that machine apart. No, Mo. Then we couldn't turn Yogi back into a bear. And I'll have to keep on being an ape. Okay, what's your suggestion? Well, here's what we'll do. When Dr. Nono comes back, you grab him and I'll feed him. Well, gentlemen, now I will put Curly Joe into the molecule mixing machine and turn him into uh, a goo. 
you! Oh, no, you don't, you mad, mad, mad type doctor. Grab him, old. Put me down, you big ape! Hang! Help! Make this big monkey put me down! There you call, Doc! Get this monkey off my back! <laughs> But, Doctor, see, I'm no match for a gorilla, you know. Because, actually, he's as strong as a dozen men. I knew someday I'd make a mistake. I forgot that a gorilla is one of the most powerful animals on Earth. Yeah, I don't know my own strength. Okay, Mo, bring the mad doctor over here to the molecule mixing machine. Now put the doctor in his own little contraption. I say, what are you going to do to me? Oh, I think we'll just turn you into a jackass. You know, hee-haw. <laughs> oh, no, no. You can't do that to Dr. No-No. It isn't human. And besides, if you make a jackass out of me, who will turn your friend Yogi back into a bear? And who'll turn me back into my former lovable self? Okay, Doc. Tell your assistant, Fang, to bring Yogi here. Fang? You heard what he said? Bring Yogi here at once. Okay, Doc. But then we won't have any more eggs for breakfast. All right, Doc. Now fix this machine so it'll turn that chicken back into Yogi Bear. Here you are, Doctor. Here's the chicken. Or Yogi. Or whatever it is. (laughs) Okay, Yogi, into the machine. (laughs) Now reverse the molecules. Yogi, it's you. You was expecting maybe Huggleberry Hound? Yay! Hey, Larry, don't forget me! Okay, Doc, let's get this machine going again. We gotta fix Mo back like he was. All right. All right! Hop in, Mo. You'll feel like a new man. <laughs> Fellas, it's Mo. He looks like his old self again. Gee, Mo, you look better as a gorilla. Remind me to slap you later. I'll have you know that I'm not half as ugly as I look. You okay, fellas? Let's get out of this creepy place while we can. Wait, fellas. What about the mad doctor's molecule mixing machine? Yeah, with a machine like this, he could take over the world. Maybe uh, we ought to throw a monkey wrench in the machinery. That wouldn't do any good. The mad Dr. No-No would just build another machine. Hold it, fellas. Hold it. All Yogi is having a brain-type storm. I got it. I got it. We can fix the mad-type doctor so he won't ever take over nothing. Here's what we'll do. Good thinking, Yogi. Well, Yogi, I see the three stooges have brought you back. Right, Captain. And if it wasn't for the three type stooges, I would still be a chicken. Now, Yogi, <laughs> you don't expect an intelligent man like me to believe a fantastic story about a mad doctor that could turn a human being into a duck. I mean, that's ridiculous. Oh, yeah? Would you like to meet the mad doctor, No-No? Well, yes, Yogi, yes. <laughs> this I've got to see. You okay, fellas? Bring the mad doctor in. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. There he is, Captain. Wanna buy a duck? <laughs> How about that? A quack doctor. <laughs> <laughs>